Now, if the product demo has gone well, then the next step is actually get a field trial, which is to get them to evaluate the product. Now, this is an important step because, again, a lot of people say, I love the product, love what it does, love all the things it has to offer, but maybe we don't have time to do it. You've got to find a way to get that product into their lab or into the field so they can start playing with it. Again, this is like the, the puppy dog approach, right? Take it home, play with it, you fall in love with it, and boom, you're in. This is no different, just at a high-tech level. Now, when you're doing a field trial or a lab trial, it's important to set up up front what are the objectives, what are we measuring, what are the key performance indicators, what are the feature function sets that we're going to measure in the product, and then put together some sort of test plan. And a test plan is essentially an upfront agreement, what we're going to test, what will be considered go, no go, pass, fail, like that we can have a report generated at the end of the test phase. More importantly, we need to actually establish a time frame. You know, how long is the test for? Is it for one month, 30 days, is it 60 days, is it 90 days? Whatever that time frame is, what we need to do is make sure that we have that established. Because what happens is it creates a sense of urgency. If they say, we'll just get around to testing it eventually, and they just stick it in their lab, well, guess what? If you sold enough products like I have, it'll sit on their lab te uh, desk, and it won't move unless we give them a time frame. So again, it's really important that you give them a time frame to make sure that it's done within a certain period of time. And make sure you get that commitment in the actual room, in the actual meeting when you're talking to the engineers, and let their managers or network engineers actually hear this and say, OK, so we have a goal. Last but not least, if you're going to do this, you're going to do a product evaluation, again, make sure that you give them all the necessary documentation to make sure that they can carry out the test plan accordingly. Because if the evaluation goes well, then phase number six, step number six in the process, is to get the product approved. And that's the real key. Once the product's approved, basically, I'm not saying we're in, but eh, we're in. <laughs>